Hey guys, welcome to another puzzle room. We're back with some puzzleicious puzzles and my beautiful puzzle team. Hey guys. Hey everyone. Hey. Ready to rock and roll? Let's do it. Okay, Chico, I think you have some lovely puzzles for us. Yeah, I think I got the fun ones. I hope you, you all will enjoy it. So, this is the first one, and it's green to move, right? And what is the best move for green? Ooh. What is the best move? Oh, oh, isn't that a checkmate? It's always tricky. What is the best move? Isn't there a checkmate there or not? Well, where? On black. Oh, is that the queen? Uh, the queen on line I goes straight up to I twelve. Is that? I think that's check, mate. No, because oh, white's not in check there, is it? No, black. Oh, on black. Oh, okay, I was seeing a check, mate, on uh, white. Oh, maybe there's two check. Oh, is there some? Sneaky checkmates going on. If you go down to H3, that it looks like a checkmate too, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, when, yeah, on that line. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so now, no, so now he's making us work out which checkmate to get. So let's work out. Oh, that's the black, don't he's... you? You're right. So Where's black, the checkmate? Black's okay. got more pieces, if that's a checkmate. So yeah, but well, can we get a check? So wait, red is also red is also in check. So let's see if we can get a checkmate on red. Oh. I can't figure it out. That's where I've been looking. Oh no, because he the, um <clears throat> even if you put it up there to no, they can still escape to a nine, right? And a ten, you can't cover those spots with the green queen. You're talking about if you move the green queen to C eleven. I was thinking B ten because you're you're wanting to cover those spots because it's the, the it's already in check with the horse. If you move it to C C eleven, <clears throat> the red queen will just eat you because it's not. No, I can't because you have to move the you have to move the king. But you can't, the red queen can't eat you because of the oh, yeah. in check. Yeah, but, but I still could, don't you, cover the spots. But you're not covering all the B9, spots, are you? Yeah, B9 and A10 you're not covering. So that diagonal line, is there a bishop or anything? No. So I think you're right, I don't think that's it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, no, but you were right. I think you were right with the first one, Kashvi. If you go, if you put black in check. Yeah, then you get black queen and a black you get, bishop. You get more pieces than you get if you kill, if you get checkmate on white. And also, you get that black horse, which will turn green. So then you're, you're checking red immediately. Nice. Yeah. So and, I and that's true. Yeah. You're right. I mean, that was really interesting, I think, in the game. People checkmated the white, the person in, in the case, but then I saw, well, checkmate in black would be mm. better because a checkmate black, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's white to move. White cannot move the queen, the king anywhere because it's all the squares are taken, right? Mm -hmm. Around the king. And the pawn is blocked. The pawn, the only the only move white can do is move in this pawn, right? White well, the can checkmate the white with green. I think right? it's great, yeah, with the green. Queen in the corner. Yeah, and the, and then green red needs to get out of the check, whatever way red mm -hmm. wants. Or even the king here, for instance. And then it's your turn again, and then you go in here and you checkmate, checkmate. white. Mm, so you lovely. So you checkmate the, the two colors and you're in a really strong position. I mean, I think you have two queens, right? And and so so yeah. you're strong to to face a to face a well, probably red will come. Here, so red can. Yeah, can, eat the horse. Yeah, but if red go anyway, and then you can put mm -hmm. red in check here and trade queens, whatever. Yeah. But it, it puts you in a in a better in a better situation in the game, right? That's really interesting. Yeah, That's great. That was a lovely puzzle. Well, you really think out all the different 
option. Yeah. It was a decoy checkmate, that one. <laughs> <laughs> we were stepping up. The decoys are going up, up a level. I mean, wow. It's like, how many checkmates do we have to work our way through before we find the optimum <laughs> checkmate? Ultimate checkmate. Like Love you're, that. You're really putting us on our game today, Chico. Mm. Uh, should, okay. I, should I go to the next one? Yeah. Yeah. So this, enough of checkmates, right? So this wow. game, so, so this situation is, it was really interesting. It happened in a game. And it's like, let's say that everyone's attacking black, right? This is the momentum of the game. And this is the intention for that specific time. So if you're green, what is the best move for you to encourage and attack black? What is the best thing you can do to attack black? It's got to be the bishop coming out, hasn't it? Because that's the, I mean, or you could take one of the pawns, you could move one of the pawns up. What do you guys think? Well, sorry, best is always strong, right? Because I'm cannot, I'm not 100% sure there's nothing better, but I mean, I, I, yeah. it's the best yeah. thing I can work out at least. Right? Yeah, but if we're moving towards black. We, we, we want to, we, we as green want everyone to attack black. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you know, when, when the game, there's the moment when everyone is attacking a color for some yeah. specific reason, and they want to support that momentum. You want to support that, that direction. Yeah. Right? So what's going on at the minute is red's horse is threatening the pawn on H11, and white's horse can take either of those two pawns on I9 or J8, right? So then if we mm. wanted to get in on the action, what's kind of one of the... We could threaten one of Black's pieces, or we could we could double attack <clears throat> one of the four. I mean, do, do you guys want to? You say I feel everyone's quite blocked in, apart from that one one bishop. I'd say so. I, I think you're right. It feels do like you guys a... want a clue. Yeah, I mean, w one of the other possibilities is like to defend the house for another piece to attack. Right, so you can either attack a piece, or you can give some protection to another attack. Right? Yeah, mm. you can back up one of the pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, a piece. I think that that the white knight attacking the pawn on i nine is a nice one to be able to encourage. But it's well protected. It's got the, the so maybe oh. Oh. It's, it's, it's oh. protected twice by the queen and the horse, so you could like threaten, like I, think, I guess if I the white, I've seen horse, if the I think I've seen it. Okay. I'm excited. I I I think it's about encouraging the red horse to go to h9 because that attacks both the queen and the castle. I agree. Um, but yeah. You're probably going to get eaten by the the black bishop. But you could put, at least protect the horse to encourage that by moving your green, so your 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 bishop on j three up to l five. Mm, lovely. That's a typical. That's a typical Chico Machiavellian move. That one. But yeah. but hang on. But let me just double check. So then, basically, Black's just going to lose the bishop because it's not going to lose a rook or a queen. Yeah, but but if, if you yeah. you go, Richard, you, you got it. Is that what you were thinking? I mean, it it, does, it depends how aggressive red is as well, because red is potentially going to lose its horse, and it yeah. might not want to lose its horse for the sake of a black bishop. But um, it it it's kind of giving red the opportunity to kind of move to that space. Um, well, but something also, else we need to remember is before red plays white. And oh, white yeah. is like dying to to trade a horse yeah. for some pawn. So if you do that, you put your bishop here. Say, hey, red, you have a nice entry. Trading horse for a bishop is is a good thing, right? Usually yeah. speaking. Mm -hmm. So white white can jump in and take like this pawn, for instance. Sorry, let me get this pawn out. So white is attacking this rook, oh. and then red horse comes in here, right? So what black does now at this moment? If black takes this, yeah. you take the, if black take this horse, you can take 
Black's bishop, white, but, take this rook, put black in check and take the queen after, you see? No, but if I was black, I'd just take that white horse with, ah, uh, no, because of the queen, yeah. In, but if you take with the queen, then you have this two line up here. So so basically now um, I think you just lose your queen, right? How you, how you save your queen? For that? You move your queen to K9, no? Yeah, you no K9 Another you lose way, yeah. it, but probably you go K9. No K9. Oh K9. 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 Yeah. But the problem is K9. both your knights. Are you going to lose both your castles? You probably lose the castle on L9, wouldn't you? Yeah, and, and the and the point is like when you if you move it to K9, then White can go in here, puts you in check, and take your queen with so this. J11. Decision. I mean, so then you're making a decision. Oh, do I lose my queen or two rooks? Yeah, probably you lose two rooks because you just need to take your queen out of the way. Yeah. And just like see your two rooks dying on that move, right? Oh, that's really and being in check as well. Yeah. 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 That's pretty, yeah. That's diabolical. Did it was? Did you do this in the game, Chico? No, I was. I was watching this game. I was studying it, and yeah. and the green player does that. Did that, and I was like, why? Why he put the, the the bishop there? And then I figured this out. But the other two didn't take the lead. Maybe it was too strong, right? We don't want. It's quite family. early. To yeah, be you don't want like to as well. completely destroy a color like that. But it would be a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful combined attack. I mean, you see. How, oh, I, mean, I would really feel terrible if I was black. <laughs> well, but then you would learn, right, to 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 position yourself way better in the future because yeah, because yeah. because you're very good at encouraging these attacks on other people, Chico. I've noticed when <laughs> you're, you're, you're you're that's your specialty is is leading <laughs> other people into battle. So, it's, um, it's, for me, it's, it's the most fun part of the game, right? <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> it's like throwing a bomb into a room, isn't it? It's like ticking away, just mm. walking off, even the carnage. <clears throat> but yeah, well done, Richard. You, you see it, and I think that's something that An Anayo he he does that. He likes that a lot, and he teaches me that. He teach me that a lot. It's when you start to to really making a step further in like combining these kind of attacks. Right? I mean, the point is not doing that for the whole game, but that for that specific moment, you have this opportunity of doing this attack on black, and then of course you retreat, and then you, you because it, this is not like forever alliance, but at least for that moment is really interesting when, and unfortunately people, the other players didn't didn't see this opportunity, it would be really. Mm. I, think, I think also it, it requires red to be a slightly aggressive player because red's kind of sacrificed or potentially sacrificing his knight and, um, a lot of people at the beginning of a game, they don't, they don't see, you know, but like you should say, this, this opens up so much, you know, carnage on Black's te team, but it's, it's just worth, it's worth throwing Unite in there. But a, a lot of players are quite defensive early on. Yeah, but, but for me, the points here is like, if, if uh, well, what Black can do maybe is just taking this, this, this horse with this pawn, right? And then the Black and the Red horse take, well, it cannot because yeah, green. the point is like you the you the threat, yeah. If you realize it, you see that neither of you is gonna lose the horses, right? Because black or or you're gonna trade a horse for a queen, which is something that mm. that's I but, mean. But the what? Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. But and that but it requires the white to go there as well, but it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. It's so nice, it's really nice interesting puzzle. because it's a really form of communication, right? And you just move the bishop here, and everyone's like, "Why?" I mean, he's just doing like a defensive move or something. Yeah, kind it's of. very interesting. You cannot see it, but but if you take a, a deeper look at it, it's like, "Wow, that's that's beautiful." This is also where the the beauty of the way the knights move, I think, as well. Mm -hmm. You know, they do the the, the and then around the corner, and then you realize what squares it's covering, and you move it in, and it's like it's covering that one and that one, and it's like, yeah. It's a lovely puzzle, really nice, really nice to think uh, more in depth about these things, right? Yeah, so I'm sorry if it was too, was a little bit too much, but I... No, but I, thought, I, it really I nice. thought it was really good, really nice thought process. Yeah. Lovely. Well, these were the ones I got for, for the day. Thanks, Chico. Great. Yeah, that was great. Lovely. Okay, guys, so 
same time next week uh, with more puzzles and love to see you back here. Remember to like and subscribe guys. <laughs> <laughs>